these are my first impressions of Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. So first and foremost, I have played Dragon Quest 3 on the Game Boy Color. I beat it. I've played on mobile. I beat it. And I've played it on Switch. I did not beat that version, but um, <clears throat> my most enjoyable version up till now is probably on, so on mobile is probably like the prettiest version that I've played, but the Game Boy Color version is probably my favorite because of the animations and stuff and all the extra content, although I did not do everything, but I really enjoyed that version the most probably overall. Now, the HD2D remake basically is something that I absolutely just am blown away by. Just absolutely blown away. Like, I literally booted the game up, you know, and I sound like a freaking old fart saying booted the game up. Um, and dude, everything looks so damn new and it's basically just, it feels like a new game. I feel like I'm playing a new game. I really do. Like I, I legit could not believe how different everything felt because originally and usually these games are all top down view, right? But this game is kind of like a like a diagonal sort of view, and uh, that first of all changes the perspective a lot on everything. It makes everything way bigger. Uh, <clears throat> but on top of that, there's way more detail than normal. And dude, just just literally walking through Aliahan, the first town, is it was like it was huge. It was gorgeous. And I freaking loved exploring it. Like, I still want to keep exploring Aliahan. Like, I haven't explored it enough, I feel like. There's probably stuff I, that people I haven't talked to or whatever. I was just trying to more get my party set up and then also um, try the combat out and stuff like that. But I really want to take my time with this game. I am probably going to take... It's probably going to take me a while to actually beat it. Uh, besides my Nuzlocke challenge I'm doing that you guys should totally join me and uh, you know hang out with me during that challenge which is going to be insane but I just I'm blown away by how gorgeous this game is man it is so good like everything feels so beautiful like so much detail in everything the the lighting is absolutely gorgeous there's so much detail with like the particle effects of like the scenery and you know even the castle itself inside the castle there's so much detail in inside the homes and even freaking little like mice and birds bro there's they're everywhere everything is so detailed it just jumps at you it really does it just like and besides that, the music is just, it, it almost feels overwhelming with like how much, like, I don't want to say it feels overwhelming in the sense of like how much stuff there is. I want to, what I'm trying to say is my feelings of like being immersed in this game is almost overwhelming. Like I just, I, I caught, I honestly, during my, my playthrough, my first uh, episode of my nuzlocke challenge i was i think i got a little emotional a couple different times bro just like really just walking through walking around just playing like hearing the music the sound effects everything just all joined into one really just it was gorgeous it was absolutely stunning um i freaking loved it so much and then like the gameplay as well, obviously, is like super fun. Um, really, really updated. I love all of the little features they've added, like, you know, changing the combat speed. Um, so I noticed that the normal combat speed was a little too slow. So putting it up to fast, I feel like is like, it feels like the normal, like how fast it should be. And then I haven't tried the, the fastest speed. Uh, but I probably won't play with that speed. I'll probably just play with fast. So I'm enjoying the fast speed, but yeah. And then in terms of, I've only been able to try out the monster wranglers and the, um, 
the Gadabot, uh, but everyone levels up drastically different time, like different times than than normal. I feel. I again, I've only tried out three vocations technically, and the monster, um, the monster tamer, levels up way slower than everything else. I feel like the monster tamer is almost kind of like a intermediate vocation at the beginning of the game. So yeah, because it seems like a class that can be built up to be pretty OP, but it's gonna take time. Kind of like the sage, but the sage you have to, obviously you have more requirements to get the sage and stuff like that. But anyway, so I'm excited to keep trying that out. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really interesting that, um, you know, that whole situation. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited to freaking like, just keep playing this game, man. Like it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Like, love it, love it, love it. It's so much fun. Um, and I just, I, yeah, I'm, I'm literally blown away, literally blown away with how like new it feels. Although again, I've played three different versions before this one. Um, and, and me not being a super long Dragon Quest fan, like, as in like, I, I have, I'm a, I'm a newer fan in the sense of like, I've never played any of these games in the NES or even the SNES. Like I barely started getting into Dragon Quest really about seven years ago or so. And even then, like this game feels like nostalgic in a way. And so, yeah, I, I mean, again, I have played it three different times, so that might be a little bit of it. But yeah, basically, I'm excited to keep playing this game. It's gorgeous. It's the graphics are gorgeous. The music is gorgeous. The, the everything is gorgeous. Even the voice acting is actually very entertaining. I've only done the English voice acting so far, but I want to do only in English because I know that in this game specifically, all of the world, all the um, towns and villages have different accents, or at least most of them do. So uh, I'm excited to hear all the accents that there is uh, throughout the world. But yeah, freaking loved it, man. I freaking love this game. If you're thinking about picking it up, just freaking do it, bro. Like it's so good and it's just, it's absolutely amazing. So definitely try it out. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2 Remake did not disappoint. I'm super excited for one and two. And hopefully this game does well enough that we eventually get a Zenithian trilogy as well. I would love that more than anything else in my life. That would be amazing. But yeah, um, so anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Like and subscribe, consider becoming a member. Shout out to my members right now. I have several of you guys. And especially shout out to the Pokey Kiddo One and Few because they've been able to gift me a lot of members, so I appreciate that. Um, and then besides that, I got my, uh, my card game that is available. So check it out. Phoenix quest card game, uh, learn how to play and get your cards at the website, which is in the description of the video. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.